So that's how I do it. Very, very easy. So let's try S1, S2, S3 again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Right? But S4 is different. S4 guys so this is the basics if you just know S1 S2 and you're able to even detect S3 and S4 in patients that's great because now you can build on your knowledge and I want you to go to the website I'm gonna write below as a description of this video so you can go and learn about the more complicated aortic murmurs aortic stenosis pulmonary stenosis aortic regurgitation and Tricuspid regurgitation, mitral regurgitation, mitral stenosis, all of the complicated pathologies of different heart sounds. But honestly, this is where I do it. When I see you and I sit next to you, I'm like, okay, do you have any medical problem? I have high blood pressure. Well, when I listen to your heart, I want to listen to S1, S2, but at the back of my mind, I say, wait a minute, maybe you might have an underlying S4 because you have what? You might have a left ventricular hypertrophy. So let's draw your heart. Look how thick that muscle is. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, right? If you have a left ventricular hypertrophy, I might be looking for an S4, and that's how I pick it up, right? But if you have heart failure, I'll be looking for what? An S3, and that's basically how you listen to heart sound. I hope I made this very, very easy for you so you can go ahead and teach somebody else. Sit next to each other in the hospital, at home, bring out your stethoscope, put in your hands, and just listen. You can hear it all loud and clear. Thank you very much for watching our video today. We hope you had a good time learning how to listen to heart sounds, and now you go and be a rock star and teach somebody else. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.